Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome to today's video, hope you are doing very well, hope you're having a good week so far. So today I'm here testing out a new palette, um, I'm basically going to be testing the palette like based on um, like the cover of it, like the packaging. Um, and I thought I would just do something different, like I bought this palette the other day, mainly because of the packaging, um, because I love space and constellations and stuff like that i've mentioned before um so i'm just going to do kind of a a nice simple look but then testing out the palette and giving a review on it there's a couple of products that i've not used before and one or two products that are new including the palette as well um so i'm just going to kind of do my normal steps and then we'll get started on the palette as well so one of the products I've never used on this channel before, but it's an old favourite of mine, um, is the collection Prime and Ready. Um, I used to love this primer, um, but I could not find it because my collection has grown a lot. Um, and basically it kind of just fell to the bottom of the pile, um, which is a bit annoying. But what I've done now, I've been an adult. I've been an adult, not I'm doing... <laughs> um i'm doing adult things and just organizing everything because i need to kind of if i want to kind of do more videos and show you guys lots of different stuff i think it was time that i actually kind of knuckled down and actually um just yeah just sorted out everything so what i've done i've like sorted everything out into like the palette section then also with like my lipsticks and everything else is in their own little section they're in their kind of little boxes and little pouches and stuff i'll show you guys probably one day um but yeah i thought it would be easier just to kind of do that and then show you guys some stuff that I have that I've never used before because I don't want to keep on showing you the same stuff again and again like I've mentioned. Um, going in with the Rimmel Match Perfection. This is an old favourite. As you can see it's almost empty. I need to get another one but I think um, I have a few foundations at the moment that are okay. I don't need to, unless it's like a brand new one. If like Revolution do something new then I will probably find that i know they've got a new um concealer which i do want to try um but yeah this is an old favorite that i love um and yeah i thought i might as well just use it because again i found it <laughs> in my little um in my box that has now been made my palette box so how is everybody um you know it's everything's getting much seriouser like it has been serious essentially for me the past like week or so but now I feel everyone's feeling it a bit more and I'm not here to like put a down on people or like bring up the bad news or anything but it's just kind of it's stuff that's happening around the world and it affects everybody regardless of race age and gender and everything and yeah we kind of you know look to make up for an escape but sometimes you have to understand that there is so much happening in the world right now that we need to kind of focus on and that's probably why I'm doing today's video because I am at home I'm like just trying to relax and not isolate because I'm not sick I just I feel like if we're gonna start taking everything a bit seriously we need to make precautions and measures etc like me and my husband we went shopping last night just kind of you know all these rumors that are spreading that everything's going to go on lockdown potentially by friday um today's thursday depending on whenever you're watching this um but yeah so it's kind of a point where you have to be prepared you have to be a bit serious about everything um and yeah that's just it's just it's happening going in with the old favorite here for revolution just patting it all in but yeah when we went we went oh god we went about 10 o'clock before 10 o'clock at night no no sorry we went about nine ish because we essentially live near a 24 hour asda and when we got inside they said we're closing at 10 o'clock and we were just like shit so we need to kind of get what we can and of course it was busy and everyone was just queuing up buying the most crazy shit shit <laughs> I was gonna say shit I don't know um the most crazy stuff and just kind of 
you know just panic buying and this is not what people should be doing you need to just like understand the essentials and what you need because you know this whole mass of like buying toilet paper and stupid shit like um so i'm going in with heartbreakers one of my favorites from february um but you need to be aware hopefully people are getting more aware that you know there are people out there who do need toilet paper as well who need pasta as well um but then you see people bulk buying like fruit and fresh food that's gonna go off in a couple of days so what is the point of actually buying all of that like i know people are just kind of like oh it's there so i'll take it we we're walking past all the aisles everything was empty um and i think it's a time where we should appreciate the kind of retail workers as well because they're working their asses off and they're getting shouted at and everything so we can just hope to calm everything down so moving on to the makeup i'm testing out palette today like i mentioned i'm using the forever flawless constellation and like i said when judging this by its kind of packaging you would see why I, so it comes in this little plastic cover um when you take it out obviously you get to see like the whole thing and it's made out of tin it's absolutely gorgeous <laughs> i love this like the packaging so much um but there are a couple of other palettes like this that are out and i got this in superdrug they ads when i bought this it was reduced to seven pounds so normally they're ten pounds but also free for two as well so you get double deals which is pretty good um but yeah as soon as i saw this i was like i need to get this palette but when i saw the colors and i saw the shades i'll be doing swatches for you guys as well um and i've had a quick look at i mean i looked at it in the actual shop as well but you can just see there's just all these gorgeous shimmers and there are a couple of colors i'm a bit like oh god would i ever wear them but you know what yeah like they're neon colors even though i'm not a neon person um but they're gorgeous colors um and i will do some swatches and the names are amazing as well so you've got like celestial and you've got um mars and solar and asteroid and cosmic um so I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna swatch some for you guys. So I'm gonna go in with Mars, which is this one just here. <laughs> Sorry. So straight away, you've got that. Oh, let me swatch this. There we go. Need to find better places to swatch. Um, and then we're going in with Venus, which is the pink um, neon shade. She's just gonna go just here. Oh, yeah, they're all. If it's going a bit haywire so yeah that's another one it's gorgeous we're gonna go with neptune next which is a blue shimmer oh that feels very nice it's very kind of like when you swatch um like kind of shimmers they're a bit kind of more they're more sturdy as opposed to maybe like a normal matte um let's go in with retrograde which is just at the bottom here this is a dark purple i mean that's quite nice my swatches are so bad i apologize um yeah that's nice that's very nice yeah and then we're gonna go in with one more just because i got my little pinky let's go in with harp just here it's a gorgeous oh gorgeous little gold color i'm gonna go up here yeah that's pretty good you know as always you know i'm a big revolution fan you guys know i use revolution in pretty much every single one of my videos i'm just gonna take them off because it will probably go everywhere on me not that it matters <laughs> but i thought we might as well just kind of get the palette on my eyes and i don't know what kind of look i'm gonna go for because it's me <laughs> i'm just gonna wing it as i go along but we're gonna start off with a nice matte shade let's start off with mars because we're just going to put her in the crease because that's where she belongs right so i'm taking one of my trusty brushes and you can see it picks up quite a lot anyway i'm gonna go in the crease oh straight away some gorgeous pigmentation right so that's gonna go in the corner let me try and bring you guys a little bit closer hello right sorry <laughs> i'm still trying to like figure out how to do this whole youtube thing probably not doing so good but right we're going in with mars like i mentioned she's going in the corners of my eyes right 
but yeah i hope everyone is um just kind of i'm sorry to repeat myself but like i hope everyone is preparing for some kind of lockdown because it's probably going to happen apparently for 15 days and it'll probably happen within the next couple of days so please like look after yourself look after your family i thankfully saw my mum and my gran yesterday so if i don't get to see them for a couple of days i know it might be a bit frustrating and very and very sad as well because mother's day is just around the corner but you know sometimes it's better to be safe because they're both quite old and vulnerable so to keep away is a bit essential right so <laughs> sorry let's just go back into the palette um with, what can go with mars let's see um we're probably gonna go in with oh god this is quite difficult i'm just trying to i'm gonna go with let's go with spiral because she's purple and it probably won't go with this look but we are just going to go with it got an eye got an eye, got an eye in my eye yeah that was right i've got an eyelash <laughs> oh my god i'm losing my mind already okay so it picks up a little bit pretty good we're just going to go into the rest of the corners here and oh see that's very neon i like that can you see it yeah so that's very bright very gorgeous colour. I mean, I am just making a random look, but I thought, you know, that's the whole point when it comes to like testing out these palettes. You need to kind of try all of them and see what you can get. And I like that purple. It's very, um, it's very pigmented. Actually, this whole palette, you know, again, revolution, you know, after everything that's happening at the moment with Manny, it's a bit strange, but that is has happened for so long like revolution are constantly um you know kind of doing other palettes that very similar like obviously like i mentioned so many times like the Too faced one and other ones as well and it's taken someone like manny to kind of go this is not good this is not happening <laughs> so you know I'm, I'm with stuff like this that revolution release when it's their ideas and it's their kind of original aspects which is what i love because it's great um i'm gonna go in with oh, let's go in with a nice bright let's go in with mercury which is a gray again i am really just winging today because there's nothing nothing to lose right so the gray is kind of blending into is it not yet yeah, no oh, I'm just going into a different color there's two grays okay I accidentally went into cluster. I'm going to go into the corner for cluster and it's kind of a mixture of cluster and mercury now. That's okay. Let's bring you guys up a little bit. Sorry. There you go. Right. Um, yeah, that colour is very nice. I'm just going to put that all on the bottom lid because, yeah, I mean, mercury is nice, but I think cluster is a bit more of a kind of pigmented grey black basically um i'm just gonna put that on the same here as well but i mean a palette like this for seven pounds or slash ten pounds even at ten pounds it's great and i know they have about four or five different versions as well all have like different colors and different kind of um packaging there's a couple of like leopard print ones and tiger print ones which are really cute um but obviously this one spoke to me for so many reasons but yeah that's this is a very nice palette i mean the look i've done is so random and i guess you can't see it because of my hooded eyelids as per usual but um i really do like it it's um yeah i don't know really know what else to say like I, I mean judging the um palette by its cover it's I've done quite well with myself thinking about it to be honest definitely check out this palette um and then the last thing i'm going to go into is a lip um obviously but it's a brand new lip product from collection it's called stay stay the night and it reminds me a lot of kat von d lipsticks because like the writing and just everything about it don't know if you can see it um but yeah the writing is very similar it's called a lip tattoo and I mean, you can't really go wrong with that, to be honest. I mean, 
it it just reminds me so much of Kat Bondi, that's why I got it. Um, and it's called One Night Stand. And again, I got this part of the three for two as well. Um, and I know Boots and Superdrug have three for two at the moment, so they're constantly just like battling out on the three for twos. But you know, both have very good different um you know brands that, that each of them don't have. So yeah, let me just give this a go. Oh wow, it's very creamy. Oh wow. It's such a like wet consistency that it's very cold, if you know what I've ever tried those before. Oh, very nice. Ooh. it's more of a gloss to be honest um because it's it's very creamy and it's very liquidy let me just swatch it on the hand for you guys as well so it's kind of i guess it's almost looks like a topper for like lipstick lip gloss and I don't know if this will you know dry down but yeah it's meant to be ultra intense metallic glaze for stay put lip goals I mean it's it's drying like I can feel I can feel my lips like tingling um and apparently to remove it you need like an oil remover which I don't have so I'm gonna see if this comes out yeah I mean this comes off quite easily it kind of stains a little bit but I mean it's not the end of the world I guess um but yeah that is essentially the video for today was me testing out the palette love the palette the lipstick I like um I have to kind of I might leave it on for a little bit just to see how it works um but yeah I I guess that's it really thank you so much for watching guys um I'll be back probably in a couple of days depending on what's happening if we shut down if you know the whole country shuts down then i'll be able to make more videos i guess because i'll be at home doing nothing um but yeah stay safe and be happy and healthy um if you want to subscribe please do please like the video please share it whichever you know happens on youtube i'm still trying to get hold of it all um but thank you so much for watching i will hopefully see you very soon bye guys